Today on the channel from the brand new Spawn Series 2 line, we've got Soul Crusher. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Spawn unboxing and review from McFarland Toys. And today on the channel, we've got Soul Crusher. But remember, for all your McFarland Toys needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And old Soul Crusher is not a familiar Spawn villain for me. Apparently it is a newer Spawn villain. As I go way back to the 90s Spawn days, fighting the old clown, the overkill, the tremor, the violators... Malabolshia, all those guys. That's my Spawn era. I've lost track of Spawn, I guess, over the few years. And now they got Soul Crusher. So a guy I don't know anything about, but saw him fairly cheap, said, what the heck, shipping now, might as well pick him up to go with the rest of my Spawn figures. It's like the 90s all over again for old Kyle. Some things never change, I guess. But Soul Crusher here at the table today. We already unboxed Cygor, so check that one out. That's a character I do know. Uh, but Soul Crusher, we're going to take a look, and we're going to do it like we normally do it in these videos. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it, and we're going to see where it goes from there. But there he is, old Soul Crusher, crushing souls wherever he goes. I don't know if he's digging holes along the way or not, but well, we'll find out. Spawn logo down there, very uh, eye-appealing. Very eye-appealing packaging as a whole. Big window boxing, every inch of the figure. I like that. Nice green, uh, and then the red down here really does pop. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how well this pops off the store pegs because I got to think not a lot of people know this Soul Crusher character. I got his name down there. Of course, 22 points articulation, McFarlane Toys. Looking something like a gas mask, like there's some kind of end of the world apocalypse and he's walking his way through it. Like he's in The Walking Dead maybe or something like that. Who knows? Beautiful glamour shot of the figure down at the bottom. I really do like that. Looks pretty cool. And on the back, no blurb, no nothing, no explanation. So we weren't going to find out any information about this Soul Crusher. Uh, the DC McFarlane figures have a card in the package. Unfortunately, these seem to not have any of that. So a little strange there. I think you need a little blurb, uh, especially he's not a deep, well-known character. Maybe some explanation. Uh, that's that's my two cents, at least. Uh, 14 and up on this one. So I told my kids, don't even look at this toy. Don't even look at it. You're not 14. You're not touching this. Don't even take a look. Nice, nice background here. It looks just like the end of the world, the end of times. You got lightning, thunder, an ominous sky, just a lot going on. And of course, we do got a spawn stand, which I do have one right here, but I'll fish this one out later. See you later. Box. So there you go. Now we get to the Soul Crusher in the old plastic prison. There he is, looking only like he could look if he was in the plastic prison at my table here in February of 2022. There he is, got his weapons, got everything else. Uh, we got some taped in weapons. Let's pull that out. There's one. Big, big time weapon there. Uh oh, we're locked in at the hand. We're locked in. Cut that out. Locked in at the other hand, too. Ah, oh, in the feet. Oh, McFarlane, never change. Never change, never leave McFarlane like a young Rio. We just, we love struggling to get your stuff out of the package. I just want to be able to rip and tear and go for it, but uh, McFarlane's not going to let me do that. He says, no, Kyle, we want you to dig through with your scissors. And that's what I did. So there it is. Oh, and we've got one at the waist, too. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? We don't want him going anywhere. Get that cape through. Let's see. Oh, there it is. See you later, up high. Off the top. Holy cow, taking things out. Uh, the other day we did an unboxing after thousands of unboxing has to be at this point knocked the whole camera everything over it was absolutely crazy times uh, you never know what's going to happen here on the channel all right soul crusher is here he is ready to go let's look at these weapons first we got this big heavy duty pistol here it's a much larger pistol barrel wise everything else nice black color to it it's got a little uh, detail to it, but no other coloring. It's just straight up black, but it does look fairly menacing. And he does have a holster on the side that it'll slide right into. So I always love to be able to store the weapons on the figure, as you guys know. That is main gun here. I am no gun expert. I have no idea. This reminds me of old school G.I. Joe Crimson Guard. They used to have them with the, it was a bayonet. The bayonet on the end, I think that's what it's called, but a big old heavy-duty rifle. Uh, this is something that'll take some people out. It's got a grayish silver and red wash throughout it, almost a brown rust wash. Kind of the artwork of the package, you kind of saw the, it almost like a fallout, a nuclear fallout in the background, and you got like red uh, kind of dust in the air. It's like it got all over his weapon. And that's what I'm painting that picture in my mind, and maybe painting it in yours too, who knows. But we got that. 
Then we get down to the Soul Crusher figure, and this is where our souls get crushed, or maybe they get happy. Uh, we'll find out momentarily here. He does have a big mask on him. It is a gas mask. Uh, it's got a nice tubing to it that goes to the back. None of that is removable at all. Uh, you cannot take his mask off. We can't see his face, and you guys know Kyle loves a masked man. A man of mystery, and that's what the Soul Crusher is. That's why 14 and up, I can see younger kids breaking this hose off. I can just imagine it. I can paint that picture in my head as well. 22 points articulation, the typical McFarlane DC spawn articulation here. Uh, I'm not sure how big of a strong dude this is. I don't know if he would... He doesn't seem like a character that would be a good match for Spawn. I feel like Spawn would just roll over this guy. I don't know. Uh, you know, Malabolshia, Violator, Clown, Tremor, Overkill, some of the... Saigor, some of those big heavy duty guys uh, I can see uh, throwing around with Spawn. This guy just seems like a guy in a costume with some weapons. I mean, he'll do some damage. I just don't think he can beat the supernatural action of uh, Spawn, of course. Uh, but nice articulation on these. They're very tight joints as we're used to with McFarlane. We got that toe articulation that the crowd goes wild for. Ankle articulation. You got double jointed knees, of course. You got nice big thigh. You can do big time splits there. Tons of articulation with that. And you get the waist, the side to side there. Uh, double jointed elbows. Wrists are movable. Move up, down, all around. Head, really can't move the head a whole lot because you do got this big hood, almost like a Doctor Doom type hood and uh, cape going on. Soul Crusher understands we are in the thick of cape season, so we better have his cape on here. Uh, very Cape season coming to an end very soon. March is almost here, guys. Uh, so we'll see if he puts away his, co his cape that time, or does he just prepare for cape season next year? Who knows? But nice uh, coloring on this green cape. It really looks like it's heavy duty. Uh, some great uh, decor throughout this thing. Only one color, but it's got some tears, some rips. Uh, it almost looks like moss, like overgrown moss you'd see in a park or something like that. Uh, he's got quite the tactical type jumpsuit going on. He's got black gloves, forearm black, uh, forearm guards. Got some holsters here as uh, put into the sculpt. And then, like I said, he does have his uh, holster there for his weapon. We'll slide that bad boy in. Fits perfectly in there. Comes out the bottom end. I like that. Straps here. Uh, he's got his knee pads. Like he's going to you know, work in a grocery store or maybe he's going to play catch later. I don't know. Maybe he'll play the catcher position. Nice boots that are wrapped. A nice dark wash on this thing. I mean, it really looks like a guy that's in a nuclear fallout. I mean, I almost think this is a character, obviously in your Spawn universe, he is the Soul Crusher, but you could put him in your McFarlane DC stuff as a, just a random bad guy. He could be uh, something in a nuclear fallout setup you got going on. And I think there's some extra uses for the Soul Crusher. Uh, I know a lot of collectors like to dabble in a lot of things and see what fits and what could go in. And I think that's something he could do there. Uh, very, very good looking. I wish I had more of an affinity for the character. And you guys know, I don't care if we're talking about wrestling figures, Marvel figures, DC, whatever we're talking about. When you know and have a history with that character, you watched him on cartoons, you read their comics, you saw him in a movie, a TV show, you watched him on wrestling, whatever it may be, you usually will like the character a little bit more. Uh, and I don't have that with this one. So that's uh, one of the rare toys. I don't know this character at all, but I know Spawn. I'm getting the Spawn. Caught me at a weak moment. I'm picking this up, and that's just the way it goes from here. So uh, I can't tell you much about the character. I don't know if it even looks a lot like the character, but from the artwork, everything else on the packaging, it looks like it fits the bill for me. Of course, we do have Spawn. Now, you guys know I did not do the backer of the big Spawn that uh, McFarlane did a year ago, year and a half ago, whatever it's been at this point. Uh, I was fine, and I still am fine with this McFarlane toy Spawn Mortal Kombat edition. So he fits perfectly with them right there like that. And then, of course, I did mention old Saigor a little bit earlier. You can see him next to Saigor. Saigor is a whole different different animal, no pun intended, uh, than uh, the Soul Crusher here. Saigor, some hits and misses with that one. Soul Crusher, uh, pretty much hits because I don't know what to expect. So it seems pretty good. I don't know. From what I see, I think this one look, pairs up pretty good. Uh, Saigor, a history of the character. I've had many of his figures over the years. Very, very cool. A few things with the, the body, especially the big diaper he's got going on. Not a huge fan of that. Uh, but beggars, you know what? They can't be choosers. So I'm okay with this one. For around $20, $22, you can't really beat this price. Uh, it's cheaper than a lot of the toys that are going at this stage, as we all know, with inflation and all that kind of fun stuff. But for me, Soul Crusher gets a pass. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? Are you in for it? Are you in for the Soul Crusher? Are you going to pick this one up? 
or is it an easy pass? Let me know in the comments down below. And then, of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the old notification on. You won't want to miss a video. And then follow me on social media on, at SirPaul64 on Twitter, on Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the Soul Crusher, I am the Kyle Crusher, and I will see you guys all real soon.